Hello and welcome to K21 Academy's AWS Solution Architect Associate video series. Today, with our AWS Certified Trainer, we are going to cover AWS Multi-Factor Authentication. AWS Multi-Factor Authentication is a simple best practice that adds an extra layer of protection on top of your username and password. MFA can be enabled for your AWS account and for individual IAM users you have created under your account. MFA can also be used to control access to AWS services and APIs. So, how to enable multi-factor authentication? Before we move ahead, I would like to recommend our previous video on AWS S3 storage classes. You can also check out our blog on the same by visiting k21academy.com slash AWS SA22. Now, in this video, our AWS Certified Trainer will be talking about enabling a virtual MFA device for an IAM user so let's hear from an expert trainer. Jyoti's account, I logged in by giving the username and password. Now I do not want that. I want to add an additional security. So in that case, I want to enable multi-factor authentication. So in that case, so what I'm going to do, click on this Jyoti user. And go to your security credentials here. And here there is a, a, something called assign MFA device. So click on uh, manage. So you have multiple options. So uh, you, yeah, everybody must be aware of your RSA token, right? So well, let me show you the picture. You must have seen these kind of devices wherein it gives you a six digit after every uh, every minute it keeps on changing, right? So this kind of authentication has been done. This is called a multi-factor authentication. So this was uh, several years back. This was the one it was being used. Now uh, recently uh, uh, we have a virtual MFA device wherein we have an authenticator. So in my organization we use Microsoft Authenticator, but uh, for AWS accounts they use Google Authenticator. So in your in your mobile or in your App Store or uh, Apple Store or uh, Play Store you will have to download uh, my uh, Google Authenticator application. So then what you will have to do uh, once you click on once you download in your Play, uh, Play Store uh, uh, Google Authenticator what you will have to do Cl uh, click on continue and then it will show you a QR code. So what you will have to do is you will have to uh, you will have to scan the QR code from your mobile app. So I'm going to uh, scan that I'm scanning in from my mobile app. So I'm done with the scanning. And then uh, it'll ask you the first two six digit it is coming. The six digit code what is coming the first two. So let me type that six digit code. So this is how I'm linking the uh, MFA device to my Jyoti's account. So I'm giving uh, eight. 23591 is the first code what it is showing and let me wait for the second one second one is that 715 715279 and click on assign mfa as you can see within no time my mfa device got has been activated click on close so you can also use an hardware devices if you are organization requires an hardware authentication you can request amazon and you will have to pay for it they will also send you an rsa token key and you can use that token for login you must have seen that legacy applications add those uh, logging methodology but now everything is modernized you have your mobile phone with authenticator apps now as you can see it has been enabled now if let me try logging into jyoti's account So I'll give the username and password. And click on sign in as you can see as everybody can see it is asking me the multi-factor code. So until and unless I give I give the right code it will not allow me inside. Now let me see what is the code it is showing in my phone. It says three one five three nine seven. Click on submit. Now, as you can see, after I gave uh, I gave the correct uh, code, uh, it it is allowing me to log in. So that was a AWS certified trainer explaining about AWS multi-factor authentication. You can also check out a blog on the same by visiting k21academy.com slash aws sa23
AWS Multi-Factor Authentication is part of our AWS Certified Solution Architect course in our training program where we cover all these topics in detail. If you are not yet AWS Certified and would like to see what to expect in the exam or how to prepare for it, I would like to invite you for a free 90-minute session with AWS Certified Expert Trainer. We will talk about the AWS Solution Architect course. Additionally, we will show live demo about creating S3 bucket and making the data available to the entire world. We will also share information about the certification exam. So you can register for free by going on to this URL k21academy.com slash AWS SA02. In the upcoming video in this series, we will look at difference between EFS, EBS and S3. So I'll see you next week. Please click on the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on our upcoming video.